Hi guys, welcome to this video on adding and subtracting matrices. Really good to see you. My name's Darren, Maths Guru. If you can, head over to MathsGuru.com. All the information is right above me where you can sign up for absolutely free. And there are downloadable notes. Now, obviously, downloading notes allows you to scribble along while I'm talking and make additional notes. They're the notes that I'm actually creating now, but you might want to add more stuff, put it in your summary book, do what you need to do. And then there's YouTube, if you can click and subscribe. Hopefully it won't cost you anything, just a click, but it does let me know that people are watching and I am deeply, deeply grateful if you could do that. Now, learning objectives, understand how to add and subtract matrices and know what a zero matrix is. Again, if you can guess a zero matrix, ooh, let's hold the suspense. Now, in our past lesson, our previous lesson, we looked at what a matrix was and we've decided a matrix has a name, right? And it can be A, B, C, we can call it whatever you like, really. It has numbers in it, it's defined by rows and columns, it has orders, but more importantly, it has these things called elements, right? Now, each of these numbers stands for an element, if you remember. And as I've said in the previous video, it is so important for you to think of those elements and their addresses. So this element here would be A11 because it's row one, column one, this element here would be A12, A13, then so it go on, this one here would be A row three one, and so it goes on. Now these elements become important for this video, and very much so for one later on when we multiply these things. Right? If you can think of those, you are going to smash this. Now, adding subtracting matrices. The point of when you add and subtract a matrix, they have to be exactly the same order. Do you remember what I mean by order? If we go back to this one here, this would be a three by three. Now the reason they have to be the same order is because you can only add matrices if elements match up and then you add each of those elements. What do I mean by that? So for example, if we were going to work out A plus B, then what I'm going to do is one, two, three, four plus three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna write it out as an actual sum. So let's just check the order first. Are they the same? That's a two by two, and that's a two by two. And again, doing this underneath the matrices is gonna make a later video just fly by. You're gonna be a gun at this type of stuff. I'm not asking you to waste time, there is a reason for doing it. So because they are the same, I'm going to add elements together. Now what do you mean? I'm going to add exactly the same positions together. So A11 and B11 are going to add together. So just writing that down, I would do A11 plus B11, A12 plus B12, and so it goes on. All right, so let's see, do that then. So one plus three gives me four. I'm now gonna do two plus four, which gives me six. I'm gonna have three plus five, which gives me eight, and four, plus six, which gives me 10. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing more complicated than that. Now, what you'll notice is the order of this matrix stays as exactly the same as the two you are adding together. ka -ching. all of this is absolutely beautiful. What about this one here? Can we add these two together? Well, let's have a look. We've got A plus B. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, plus, one, two, three, six, five, and four. So what this is, this is a two by two. This is a uh, two by three. Are they the same? They are not the same, and so we can't add them together. And again, while we could add potentially that one and that one, and that two and that two, there's nothing to add those three and four to, and in which case it all falls apart. So that in that situation cannot be added. And believe it or not, the same happens with subtraction, right? So you can only subtract when they are the same order. Complete the following addition of subtraction of matrices. So let's just write them out again. Two, four, five, and one, plus nine, eight, nine, and minus one equals, are they the same order? They are, so I'm gonna draw that. So we're gonna do the two plus the nine gives me 11. Four plus eight gives me the 12. Five plus nine gives me 14. And then careful, we got one plus minus one. So one plus minus one. We know a plus and a minus becomes a minus. So one minus one gives me zero. Kuching, that's all there is to it. And it works in exactly the same way for the second one. So let's call that part A. Let's call this part B. We got seven, three, two, 
810. Now again, most people sadly make silly mistakes with these questions because they tend to add them, even though that sign in the middle is a subtraction. So I'm gonna do this. I know the dimension is gonna be a three by two because it's exactly the same. We know we can subtract these because they are the same order. So seven minus four is three. Three minus two gives me one. Now I'm not gonna keep doing the boxes. Two minus minus one. Ooh, two minus minus one. We know a minus and a minus becomes a plus. So it becomes two plus one, because, excuse me, three. 8 minus 9, remember I'm just doing the same elements, 8 minus 9 is negative 1, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, and 0 minus 7 is minus 7. Moving on to the last part of this video, believe it or not, I know they're really quick, aren't they? The zero matrix, and again, <laughs> basically it's as exactly as it says here, yeah? It is one of the most stupid things I've ever heard of, but a zero matrix is a matrix basically filled with zeros. It can be any size, but they all have to be zero. So there are three examples of a zero matrix. Now, why is that important? Well, imagine you could actually add or subtract two matrices and end up with a zero matrix. Why is that important? Again, way beyond this course, but just need to know that there is such a thing as a zero matrix. And ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much the end of this video. There is a little bit more coming on if you could watch it. Otherwise, look, I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and head over to Master Guru if you can. All right, take care. Thanks very much for watching guys. Yes, this is the end of another video. If you haven't already done so, can you click on my subscribe button? Yes, it doesn't mean anything other than the fact that I know that you are watching. Yes, it's greatly appreciated. Otherwise I feel like I'm sitting here just talking to myself. And then yes, there is mathsguru.com of which you can see a still of now. And what is over there? Well, all the videos ordered by textbook, ordered by topic. You can search for the videos, you can download notes, time codes, exam questions, and so, so much more coming up. Yeah, it's absolutely free to join. So I'm done. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in another video. Give me a shout out to your mates if you can. I just want to make sure that everyone finds maths interesting and easy. All right, take care, guys. See you again. Bye-bye. Stay safe.